So we've been lucky enough to get access to um, a beetle that the South Africans imported and released in South Africa. They did that over 20 years ago and this particular beetle um, came from America. So it was imported and tested in South Africa and then released and it's done a really good job in South Africa of um, attacking silverleaf nightshade. It eats the leaves and strips all of the leaves off and then it starts to put holes in the bark of the plant. They've seen a dramatic um, fall in the numbers. Um, it's part of biological control that by definition you'll never eradicate the target weed. Um, but it starts off with high levels of weed and high levels of control agents and they just reach an equilibrium at a, a low level. So you get the odd silver leaf nightshade plant, the odd beetle kicking around that will just tick over on it. If something happens that the silver leaf nightshade explodes, then the beetle numbers explode and drag it back down again quickly. Our first consignment of beetles, they'll stay in Melbourne for three years locked in a high security laboratory and we'll feed them a whole range of different plants um, to make sure they only eat silver leaf nightshade because the last thing we want to do is release a beetle out there that starts attacking our native solanums or uh, useful crops. So we, we need to be very careful. That'll be a three year process. At the end of that three years, if it's only eating silver leaf nightshade and we're confident it won't do environmental damage, um, we can perhaps look at releasing it into the field. It's um, a beetle that lives in the soil during the winter because it likes the warm weather coming from subtropical America. Um, in the springtime, the adult beetle comes out of its um, cocoon in the soil and crawls up to the plant, starts eating the leaves and laying eggs on the leaves. So those eggs will um, turn into larvae at different stages and they'll keep feeding. And that cycle might go for two or three times during the spring summer. And then when it gets cold enough, um, the beetles go down into the soil ready for the next cycle, but then they'll stay there uh, until it warms up again. They haven't been found to eat any other plants. Um, the South Africans let it go over 20 years ago and it hasn't been observed to eat anything else. In fact, the beetles will actually crawl around on, on the soil amongst other green plants, looking very hungry and jumping on any tiny little shoot of silverleaf nightshade that comes out of the ground.